Mr. Speaker, yet another cut to the frontline health care services that Albertans depend on. The Cross Cancer Institute, Alberta's premier cancer treatment facility, has told their staff they won't have a triage nurse in the evenings. This is an absolutely outrageous broken promise to sick Albertans who will now have reduced access to the specialized care they need to recover from cancer. My question is to the Health Minister. Why is your government allowing cuts like this to happen? Mr. Speaker, the, the Honourable Member is obviously referring to an operational decision. I don't know exactly where he's getting his information. Uh, I'd, be happy, I'd be happy to look into his particular question if he'd care to share it with me. But, uh, Mr. Speaker, I have no doubt that any decisions that are being made regarding cancer care in this province are being made in the best interest of the patients that we serve. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Not good enough. Given that this government broke their promise to deliver stable long-term funding to public health care, and given that one cross-cancer nurse said the idea of having potentially immune-compromised patients sitting in packed ERs is awful. To the Health Minister, how many more cancer patients and their families have to suffer because of this PC's government's broken promises? Well, Mr. Speaker, again, if the Honourable Member wants to send me the details of what he heard or what he thinks he knows, I'd be happy to look into it. Mr. Speaker, the people of this province enjoy a cancer care system that is in the envy of this country. The Premier of this province, as recently as a few weeks ago, announced an entirely new cancer centre, a one point one to one point three billion dollar project to serve Calgary and southern Alberta. Mr. Speaker, we continue to invest in the best of equipment. We continue to attract the best researchers from across the world in cancer. And Mr. Speaker, to suggest anything less is simply not true. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. You should know, Honourable Minister, what's going on in your ministry. Given that this government promised to improve primary health care by introducing more centres with user friendly hours. And given that our emergency rooms are already bursting at the seams, even before this PC government effectively cut the health care budget, will the minister tell Albertans why this government is breaking yet another promise, this time to Albertans who need cancer treatment? Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, I'm not going to stand by and watch... Uh and watch uh, cancer patients used as political pawns in, in this House during question period. If, if, this member, if, this men, if this member wants to question operational decisions made by Alberta Health Services, as I said, and I would do the same for any member of this House, send me the information and I'll be happy and get and to, to look into it. But, Mr. Speaker, the generalizations that the Honourable Member makes, the statements with respect to primary health care are not true. Mr. Speaker, we continue to expand primary health care in this province through family care clinics through primary care networks. Why? Because Albertans told us they want us to open Thank the front Thank you, Honourable Minister. Honourable Member. Oh.